Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install Android Studio on your Ubuntu operating system and I'm also going to show you if you encounter the problem which says error unable to run MSD card SDK tool in Ubuntu. I'm going to also show you how you can solve this problem which is a very common problem while you are installing Android Studio on your Ubuntu operating system. Now the prerequisite of installing Android Studio on your Ubuntu operating system is you need to have Oracle Java JDK installed on your system. So I'm assuming that you already have installed Oracle Java on your Ubuntu operating system. If you don't know how to install Oracle Java on your Ubuntu operating system, I will paste the link in the description so uh, you can uh, just watch that video how to install uh, Oracle Java and then uh, come to this video. Okay, so let's get started and first of all we are going to download Android Studio. So just search for Android Studio here and just search for download. Okay. And the first link most probably which will appear here will be uh, this link which is developer.android.com slash sdk slash index.html so just uh, click this link here and it will redirect us to this uh, Android uh, website page and in here you can see this uh, download Android Studio button Android Studio comes with this Android Studio IDE Android SDK tools and other Android related API's right so when you click this uh, button here you will reach to this other download option for Android right so you can see here you just press this button and it scrolls down a little and in here it reaches this uh, section here okay so if you uh, want to know where is it you just need to click this and you can see uh, this once again okay and just scroll a little bit down more and in here you will see all Android Studio packages and you need to choose this last option which is for Linux okay so just click this uh, link and this is going to give you this uh, terms and condition uh, agreement you need to just uh, check this checkbox and just click download Android Studio IDE okay it's a zip file so you can uh, save it I already have downloaded uh, this uh, zip file so I will not uh, save it once again but you just need to uh, click OK and it's going to download this zip file this zip file as you can see is 363 MB so it will take some time to download but after downloading this you can just uh, minimize this and go to your uh, folder explorer and then go to this downloads uh, category here and you can see Android Studio there okay now we are going to uh, unzip this uh, file first of all so just double click it and it's going to uh, open this uh, zip file in this uh, form and you just need to click extract and it's going to extract this file in the specified folder I'm going to extract this file in the downloads folder itself but if you want you can uh, you know go to home or anywhere else okay so it's totally on you so I'm going to extract it here itself which is download right so click extract and it's going to extract this Android Studio folder in this downloads folder now once your Android Studio folder is extracted you can see this folder in this form just close this uh, archive here and now you can open your terminal so I'm going to open the terminal from here and in the terminal I will browse for the downloads folder so just CD download and just press enter and you are in download and you can just list all the files here and you can see Android Studio here right so what we need to do we need to go inside Android Studio so just uh, CD Android Studio once again and press enter and just LS once again 
and you can see uh, these are the folders and files inside Android Studio. We need to go inside the binary folder. So just cd bin once again and list once again. And now what you can see here, there are some files uh, listed here. We are interested in this file which is studio.sh. But first of all, we need to change the mod for uh, this file. So first of all, just write sudo and then chmod for changing mod and just write 777 and minus capital R and then the name of the file which is studio.sh okay and press enter and give your password and the mod is changed and now you just need to simply run this file so just write uh, dot slash and the name of the file which is studio.sh and press enter and it's going to start installation of Android Studio and now you can see uh, this option here uh, first option will say if you have a previous version of uh, Android Studio you can choose this option otherwise choose this default option so I'm going to choose this uh, default option and click OK and the installation will start now and in here you just need to click next and we want the standard version so just click next once again and these are the packages which will be installed you can just review them and click next and then click finish and now the installation will start and when this progress bar reaches to the end then your Android Studio will be installed. You can see the details by clicking this button what packages are installed here. Now uh, you may encounter this uh, error while installing the Android Studio and this is a very frequent error which can appear when you are installing Android Studio which says unable to run MKSD card SDKL tools and this is due to uh, if you have a 64-bit operating system and Androids needs uh, some 32-bit uh, binary then this uh, error may appear so to uh, solve this error what you can do is I will uh, give you a command and which you can run uh, to install uh, these 32-bit uh, binaries and then you can uh, uh, you know continue with this so first of all let's see which version of Ubuntu we have so just go to this uh, small button here and go to uh, this option which says about this computer and uh, most probably it's going to show us that OS type is 64-bit right so that's why we need to install uh, these extra binaries uh, to uh, continue working with Android Studio uh, installation so open a uh, uh, second terminal you can right click and open terminal once again and then in here just uh, give this command I'm going to paste this command in the description also which is sudo apt minus get install lib32 zl lib32 n c u r s e s 5 lib32 bz 2 minus 1.0 and lib32 std c++ 6 okay press enter and give your password and then uh, these binaries are going to install give y for yes and once this installation is uh, complete you can just close this terminal and our previous terminal is already open so you can just uh, click finish and in here you can just close this for now and once again run this uh, command which is dot slash studio dot sh so that this error will not appear again and once again click next and standard once again and click next once again and then click finish and once again wait for uh, this process to complete and once the process is complete you can just click this finish button and it's going to open this Android Studio setup wizard which will uh, look something like this so to configure SDK manager you can uh, 
just go to configure and open SDK manager from here and open SDK manager from here itself and it's going to look like this or otherwise you can create a new project by going back and start new Android project and for now just leave everything as default next 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 and then click finish and it's going to create your first Android application and now our project is created and uh, first of all you will see this kind of uh, interface to open the project wizard you just need to click uh, this uh, left hand side option which says project and uh, when you click this it's going to open this uh, perspective here and in here you will see this app folder inside your app folder there will be the java files and your resource file and in the layout you can design your activity underscore main dot xml file so just double click it and it's going to open uh, this xml file in here so in this way it will look like this so in this way you can download and install android studio on your ubuntu operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now